Hi, I'm Lily Chandra, and I'm really excited to talk to you again. It's been quite a while. I want you to watch this video and hear everything about what's been going on in my life for the last year and get the updates on where I'm living now, what's going on with me, and most exciting, there's a great offer that I have for you. If you watch this video till the end, you're gonna get excited. This is a great offer I have, and I don't want you to miss out. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Lily Chandra, the founder of Cosmetic Energy Healing. Many of you have been asking me, where have you been? I've been MIA for quite a while now, and basically I took a huge break during the coronavirus to really work on myself and really figure out what makes me happy and what's important to me. I've gone through a tremendous amount of transformation and I've actually moved. Yes, I moved for the first time in my life. I've spent my whole life, over 40 years, living in Vancouver and I actually moved just north of Vancouver just two hours by car to the mountains so I'm living in beautiful Whistler BC and I'm enjoying a whole new lifestyle. It's been a very fascinating process because there is so much change that's gone on that I'm actually just getting caught up with the change. It happened so quickly the move from one city to another municipality that even I don't even know what happened. Destiny brought me here Destiny brought me to the mountains. Destiny brought me to a place where I feel very connected to the earth. I feel very alive. I feel very relaxed. I actually feel like I'm retired and it's made me realize what retirement really is. Retirement is that feeling of relaxation, lack of stress, waking up and deciding what am I gonna do and not having to worry about going to work or tasks you have to do or money or anything like that. It's the feeling of not having responsibility and waking up and just feeling, ah, oh, I'm not retired, but I definitely can feel that energy here. It's a very calm energy. It's a very laid back place that I live in. And it's definitely got a vibe to it that the city does not have. So I'm starting a whole new life here. I'm learning how to ski. I've never skied in my life. So it's been a very interesting process learning to ski at 46 years old. And it's terrifying, I have to say, and it's probably been one of the biggest challenges I've ever faced in my life because fear has come up, fear from the past, fear of feeling fragile, fear of not knowing what I'm doing, fear of going too fast, fear of hitting people. It's super cold. So it's been an interesting process, like I'm saying. I've been skiing for about five weeks now, so I'm a brand new beginner. I can definitely get down the mountain, I can stop, but I'm not quite where I want to be. So that has also been an interesting process too, seeing my progression and trying really hard at something and trying to learn how to ski, knowing that it's not so intuitive to me, it's not so natural to me. So that's been a really interesting challenge in my life. My health has really improved because I'm focusing on my body, I'm eating well, you know, I'm exercising regularly, and my body has really changed as well. I know everyone's gone through their body story during COVID. Some people really worked out a lot and lost a lot of weight. Some people got a little chunky. I was one of those people who got a little chunky. I love to cook. I made a lot of things I've never made before and I ate them all happily. But then I realized, you know, I gotta watch the belly, I gotta watch my health. And my biggest issue is always my health. That's my concern. <sighs> I wanna feel good. I wanna feel healthy. I want to take care of myself. So I really had to tune into my body as well. Tune into what's right for me. What does my body need to fuel itself? What does my body need to be efficient at digesting energy, nutrients, and absorbing what it needs? So I made a whole transformation with what I was eating in my diet. And that's actually made me feel so different mentally. I'm feeling more positive and I'm very, I'm very different now from where I was a year ago, six months ago. COVID has really changed my whole life, you know, uprooting me and bringing me to this new place. And I really was touched that people were messaging me and wondering where I was and if I was okay. I thought that was very, very sweet. And I know everyone's going through their version of what COVID is for them and how it's affected their lives but there's a lot of positive things we can take from it. There's a lot of positivity 
and how it's changed our lives. And I'm, I'm trying to focus on that as well. And I know everyone can too. I really wanted to just make a video where I could share where I'm at just so that people who follow me know what's going on in my life. Uh, I've had a lot of change with my career as well too. I've rebranded, I've started a skincare line that's really just about to launch and I'm just going to get onto social media like Instagram and really try to promote and widen the people that I can help with my work and with my expertise. I'm going into 14 years of business, which is always a miracle to me that I've survived this long. And I know I have information to share. I know I have information to help people. So I really wanna hear from you. I really wanna know who you are, who's still following me, who's excited to see this video, because it really did touch me that people were messaging me and asking me how I was and where I've been. So if that's you, please comment right now and let me know who you are. Where do you live? And what it is that you like about me? And what do you wanna hear from me? What do you wanna hear from me? I really wanna share a lot of my insights on how to make your life better. That seems to be the core of what I wanna do. I wanna help you to make your life better, whether it be for your health, if you have a health issue, dietary issues, you know, beauty, beauty is a big one. A lot of people don't feel beautiful. I've shared my story about how I felt like, uh, I was ugly. I was Quasimodo. I was led to believe that I was this horrible, ugly being that just when people looked at me, they were disturbed. So I get it. I understand that. I understand that relationship with self-love and not really seeing value in yourself. And I want to help you through that journey. And anything else that you feel that I could give you insight on, obviously spirituality, that's you know a big passion of mine and that's what I really share. How do you deepen that? How do you find your spiritual purpose? How do you get connected to that place where you feel that you are a divine being? How do you get connected to that place? Do you wanna know what more about meditation and a meditation practice? I can also share that too. I love talking about meditation. I love it. I meditate all the time, sometimes two to three hours a day, sometimes more. It's based on my mood. So I really wanna hear from you and I really wanna know what it is that you wanna hear about because this is about you. This is not just about me rambling. It started like that, but clearly there's people out there who have some things that they wanna hear from me and I'd love to share that. And I'd really love to help everyone who's interested live a better life and be connected to their divinity. And I also want to share that I am giving away free 10 minute sessions. And if you're interested in that, I'd love to talk to you. So all you have to do is email me and I'll send you all the information. And yeah, I'm very happy to give you a free 10 minute session. I think that's the best part. That's probably the best part. So I'm really excited to get connected again. I'm gonna be on here regularly and I'm really gonna share with you what's coming out of my heart and what it is I feel that the divine wants me to share. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm in my new house. I've got my beautiful Shiva here and I've got these amazing glass windows. And so the space brings in a lot of light. I look at the mountain here every day. Right now it's really cloudy, so I'm not gonna show that to you, maybe in the next video. I really want to share whatever it is you need to hear so that you can transform yourself. And I really feel like I'm here for you. I really feel guided to support whoever wants my support. So please email me. My email is lilymchandra at gmail.com and we can set up an appointment right away and we can meet and we can have a conversation. And I would just really, really love that. So I hope you're all doing well. Please let me know who you are, where you're from, what you want to hear, and let's really start a new chapter in our journey together. Thank you so much. Namaste.